So right next to me is our male and a little bit of size. Um, right now is our female. Um, so we're going to be talking a little bit about these guys and about training and um, a conservation project. So like I said, the one down here on the ground right to me is our male horn bill. Um, so this pair is about in their 30s. Um, these guys can work well up into their 40s, even specifically up into their 50s in human care. So they are getting a little bit older. They're right around middle age. <laughs> so, these guys can be found in Southeast Asia. Um, so, their conservation status is listed as least concerned. As it is. They're not listed as endangered or anything like that, but they definitely do have some threats out in the wild. So these guys um, remain the problem out of the deforestation. So these guys just chose to play with the rainforest in order to survive. Uh, they definitely weigh not as bad as they are, or that they're successful behavior that they do. Um, so what they're going to do is the female is going to find a nice free cavity, and she's going to mug herself up. Um, and only with a slit big enough for his beak to fit through. Up to him to go and find food for her during that time. So she's going to stay in that and incubate those eggs and help those babies until they're big enough to fly and come out of the nest of their own. So that's about three months long. So she is in that tree hollow for about three months. And like I said, it is up to the male to feed them and take care of them while they're up in that nest. Now once those babies are able to come out of their nest, um, generally, they lay about two to three eggs. Typically, they only have about one to two chicks to raise. That being said, for the females are four. You might be able to see our female in the background. She's kind of sticking up high. Um, but she has blue around her head, where this guy has yellow. But for both of those babies are four, both of them look like the dad. So they both have that yellow coloration. And these female will get that blue coloration when she gets a little bit older, probably about a couple years old. So right now at the zoo we are doing something to help out the Hornville Research Foundation and we are doing a Hornville Roundup. So not only is that helping out information about Hornville, it's going, uh, that money is going towards that uh, foundation to help conservation towards Hornville and to help the people over in Southeast Asia and their native range to learn about hornbills and why they are important. So yesterday, myself and one of our other keepers did something pretty cool that these guys have never done before, um, but they actually painted. Um, so we put paint on the ground and they were able to hop around in that paint and they had a great time, as you can see on the canvases. We're gonna be selling these on our website and that money is gonna be going to our that research foundation to help the people really go out and tell information about these guys and their native brain. So we'll hand these back off the camera and we'll see if we can come down again. They're really good at catching fruits and stuff like that. They're primarily fruitivores. They're going to be eating all different types of fruits, primarily figs out in the wild. Um, but here at the zoo, they get a variety of stuff. So he is getting grapes, which are his absolute favorite grapes. We also get things like mango and apple and melon and all sorts of fun fruit, as well as a pellet diet. Um, just like you would feed our cat or dog, except it's specially made just for our birds here. So if we have any questions, we'll answer some of those. One question. One um, how many different species of Hornbill are there? There's a lot. <laughs> Off of the top of my head, I'm not 100% sure, but there are both Asian and African species of Hornbill. Uh, so here at the zoo, we have four different species of Hornbill. We have our reed Hornbill, our silvery cheek Hornbill, our red bill Hornbill, and then our yellow bill Hornbill. Uh, so our yellow bill Hornbill is our habitat. He lives in our ambassador department and he um, comes out and greets the public and goes to different events and stuff like that. Ava wants to know what yeah. do they eat? What do they eat? So right now he's getting great uh, but these guys like lots of fruits and stuff like that. One of their favorite treats that they don't get very often is actually green pepper. 
And it's one of their favorite enrichment items that we give them. So the reed hornbills are pretty special to me as they were the first animal that I ever trained as a zookeeper. I was able to build a relationship with them that took months and months of hard work and patience for me and the birds as well. We're currently working on a kennel behavior. We're getting into kind of hurricane season here in Florida. So if there was a hurricane to come this way, we're going to have to take them inside into a nice secure building. Coming in here, catching them with nets, that can be very stressful to us keepers as well as the birds. I have worked on a relationship with these birds to have them voluntarily kennel themselves. So it's their choice if they want to go in that kennel or not. Um, so we've been working on that. We've also been working on station training. So that's where I can ask the animals to come to. They use these tree cookies that we have here on the ground. Um, to come to that station and stand on that station. Um, so that's very beneficial. If we were to have, like, if something, you saw a spot on him and the vet needed to come look at it, it's just to reduce stress. So I can ask him to come over onto the station and then the vet can get a good look at him. And it also helps us to get a daily look at these guys up close when they're not above our head. We have any more questions? Yes. Are they good flyers? Are they good flyers? Uh, so they are pretty good flyers. They're not going to be doing super long distance flying, but they are very good flyers. Uh, they are very loud when they fly, though. So they can be loud. <laughs> That's one of the key things about hornbills, but they're one of my favorites. So these guys, they look very big, uh, but they only weigh a couple of pounds. Our male here only weighs about four pounds, so our female weighs even less than that. So they aren't very heavy as you think that they would be for such sort of large size. All Ooh. right, well I want to thank you guys for tuning in and watching our segment of Good You and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I hope you learned lots about our condos.